Well, here it is, the end of May. Monday, May 30th, to be exact. I'm a little late today, it's 2.17, not 2.14. She's a whopping 18 degrees Celsius inside, and even a bigger whopping 13.6 degrees outside. It says it's raining for good reason. It is. Fuck. Brr. Cold and wet. And there's a dog licking himself. And a cat sleeping herself. Wake up, cat. Wake up. Yeah, you sleep too much. You gotta wake up. Hey. I said wake up. You listen to me. I'm gonna go back to sleep. I don't care. Anyways, as you can see, it's beautiful and green outside. All the trees are starting to do their thing. As you can see, there's leaves all starting on stuff. And not so much on them big trees yet. But uh, you can see like little shrubs and stuff are all turning green. I've already mowed my lawn twice now. After this rain, it'll probably have to be a third time after the uh, sun comes out, but whatever. That'll be another day, that's for sure, because I broke the deck, or broke the mower belt on both my lawn tractors. Yay! My poor little puppy. Look at him. Oh, he has the hypothermia he does. Are you a little dramatic, puppy? Are uh, you a little dramatic? Oh, you're freezing. You're freezing to death. You've been outside for 30, 40 seconds at least. You wanted to come out here with me. Why are you shaking? I'll wrap you up in that blanket. Give me a minute. Aha! All fixed. No more problem with the doggy. So, other than that, guys, uh, just thinking if there's anything to really tell you about. Oh yeah, I got this part saw. If you remember my chainsaw sound off video a while back? If you haven't seen that, well, I should probably put a link or something like that but this is me and I'm lazy so feel free to go back and check if you want and check it out I have this old 60's home light chainsaw and this just happens to be the exact same one uh, this one obviously is in the best shape but uh, it does have a carb pull cord assembly the oiler little bars and do's and whistles and bits and pieces and you know what I know it's nothing special, but it's nice to have parts for that old saw because if it ever breaks, I don't think they make them anymore. You know, I think they stopped making them probably 30 years ago. <laughs> but I uh, can't remember. It looks thoroughly half a point of oil with one gallon of gas. I think it's like an 8 to 1 mix or 16 to 1. Something like that. Maybe it's as much as 32 to 1. I can't remember. You can do the math if you really feel like it. Blanket over there squeaked. I got out and did some mowing on the weekend. Uh, I guess I was telling you guys about that already. Um, I had both the tractors out actually right before the weekend. And I blew the mower belt on this one. So then I was using this one. I got all my lawns almost done. I literally had like three more strips to do. And bang! The other mower deck broke on this one. So now I need two belts for both of these which really or well one belt each but it really sucks because those belts around here I don't know if you guys get any better prices but they're like fucking sixty dollars here that's a lot of money for a belt but uh, unfortunately I'm gonna have to pay it because I have no other choice uh, it's the only real way to you know fix it so I don't really know anywhere else I can get a belt the right size for any cheaper so I'm gonna have to bite the bullet and get one of them I guess but uh, in the meantime, I won't be doing any mowing because they don't mow without a mower deck or mower deck belt. Um, the old uh, lawn mower, she works good. Uh, I need to find a new drive tire though. This drive tire, see how it doesn't match. See them tires, see this tire. This tire is actually off another mower. Uh, but it's stripped inside, I think I showed you in one of my last videos how it's stripped inside so I'm gonna to have to find one of those I'm also gonna see if I can find some kind of a chute because you can put a chute on these and well I'd much rather have a chute than this stupid bag because you have to dump the bag all the time at least with the chute 
it's a little easier. This thing is heavy. It's kind of a pain in the ass. We were discussing this over the weekend. Um, me and my buddy, he has a smaller El Cheapo new one. And I must say, there's it makes a big difference because they're so much lighter. Um, this is nice that it's self-propelled when it works proper for the self-propelled part, but unfortunately it doesn't when the tire is stripped. So, you know, it's kind of a, a long shot what I'm going to do here, but at some point I hope to replace this wheel anyways. And you never know, maybe someday. It sounds loose in there. I'm going to have to check make sure that tire is even tight. It might be falling off. But yeah, like I said, put a chute there. Uh, also, my ghetto friggin' whipper snapper. I was trying to get every other one going because I forgot I had fixed this one kind of ghetto-like. You know, ghetto hillbilly and all. I do things ghetto. Um, so, I don't know how... I, I wish I could hold this a little better for you, but you might not be familiar with these, but these are the type that whoa, there we go, have a primer ball right there usually, and when you prime it, it also goes into your choke, and then when you press the gas, she pops back out. They're actually a bitch to start if you're not careful because the choke has to be in, and uh, it can be a real pain in the ass if it isn't. But anyways, uh, that primer ball dissolved on me last summer. Um, apparently somebody was mentioning it's probably the ethanol in the fuel, so I'll, next time I mix up some gas I'll definitely make sure to use uh, some plus. Um, I have heard other issues you have with small engines due to using ethanol, so I've been thinking of making sure I don't use it anymore. But you can probably see what I did here. Uh, because I didn't have time or money to replace the proper piece, I just uh, grabbed a primer ball off something. I can't even remember what this is from, but I just stuck the lines into that, and boom, I still have a primer ball. I still have my choke that works like it's supposed to. So the thing actually works great. I don't have any issues with it. Um, actually, I should pick one thing. Okay, it's still there. This little piece goes flying once in a while. That's the only issue I have. When that goes flying, i got to spend some time looking for it, because without that, it's uh, not nearly as effective. And it also keeps you up off the ground, like that far, so you don't, you know, really do a number on the ground. But holy crap, boys. I know it's not too super bad, but I've been outside a lot of the day working in this, and it sucks. I'm dry now. Uh, I, you know, put on some new drawers and some new socks, so I'm nice and dry, which is a lot better. I hate being wet and cold, but... Uh, yeah, I'm going to have to suit up a little better for after lunch because I'm going to be out for the rest of the day, I think. I wasn't really prepared this morning, so... Needless to say, I got wet and cold and stayed that way. Luckily, I have a dryer in the house, so I'm just drying my work pants now as we speak. They'll be nice and dry by the time I go home, and all will be good. But anyways, guys, um, I guess that's going to be it for right now. I don't really have a hell of a lot to say or a hell of a lot to show you. Um, you know, life's been kind of dreary, not dreary, but dull, for sure. Nothing exciting really going on. Um, still waiting. I had somebody come look at my uh, truck yesterday. I'm still waiting to get rid of that so I can get my other one. You know, I'll be doing a video once I do that. Um, I know some of you guys wanted to see some rubber fly with the uh, that one, but I don't know that that's going to happen. It might. It, it, it might. I still own it, so we'll see. Um, but uh, I would love to do a big old fucking dirty burnout with it right now, I can tell you that. But we'll see if I end up getting it done or not. Um, regardless, it is going away and a new truck is going to be replacing it. So when I get the new truck, I'll be doing a video on the new truck and uh, you know we'll go from there with it. Anyways guys, again, thanks for as always for watching. Um, I had some other things to say, but of course they lost my, you know, they're gone out of my head just... Um, that's one of the problems when you do completely unscripted videos and unrehearsed and unthought out. Like, I just grab the camera and throw it in my face and I start talking. That's one of the reasons I tend to ramble and sometimes easily get off topic and things like that, is because I'm not sitting here. A lot of people that do, you know, bigger and longer vlogs, 
that kind of thing they do jot down some notes or stuff to keep them on topic and you know remind them what the hell to talk about of course I don't do that because I'm a lazy bastard and uh, it makes you know it suffers I guess my quality suffers slightly because of it but hey you're watching so I must not be that bad I hope not anyways <laughs> anyways guys thanks again talk to you soon peace